Hello my friends and welcome to Lloyd Doll House. Today is the day when we will be working on the floor rug. Other rugs that I have throughout the house have been store bought. This time I thought that I would make the one for the bedroom from items that I found at the dollar store. I bought this set of to kitchen towels at the dollar store and it actually had four of them. They are made of microfiber. This is a fabric that I do not particularly like for my kitchen, but I do like it for cleaning, uh, for wiping off dust because it clings to it. But this other one that has the pattern, I thought this would make a great pattern for the rug. Okay. More or less about the size of the other rugs that I have in the house. Um, I thought I would make this oval rather than rectangle and I am going to use a um, sardine can for the outline. This um, is going to be what I would like to be the center of the rug. So in order to mark uh, the center, I'm going to use fabric markers and I'll be selecting something that is close to the color of the, um, something like this. And on the other side, gonna make a mark on the center. No, it doesn't have to be precise, but somewhere around the center, okay. And then maybe this is a little too dark. I'm gonna use this lighter color. Hoping that I'm in the center, going to draw the oval. This is going to be the reverse side. This is the side that you will not see. So it is okay for the color to show. I have my outline already drawn. So now I'm going in with my scissors. Pretty straightforward and I am going to determine whether this is going to need some kind of um, sewing on the on the outline or if this will hold up all by itself well now I have my carpet already cut and I like how the center did end up where it should be in the center um, it's not behaving like a carpet, it's behaving more like a tablecloth. So in order to give it some stability, a little bit of structure, I'm going to be using this liquid cell. And it will prevent any of the, um, the, the threads on the edge to be fraying. And so this will be, it, with this will take place of having to sew some kind of border, okay. You can find, you don't have to use this specific brand. You can also find in your fabric store other brands of liquid stitching that will take the place of doing, of having to do a fringe. So I'm going to go all the way around and around and around until I complete the entire circumference of my rug. So the liquid, the liquid cell has already dried up and this will prevent the edges of the rug from fraying away. Okay, now let's go put it inside the bedroom. And the rug will actually go very well with the blue theme that we have going on here. Maybe it's too much blue for my taste right now. However, during those days, they would go all one color, all monochromatic with the um, drapes and the wallpaper and things like that. So if we have the bed right here, then when they wake up, they can step on the rug and I'm gonna put the little shoes right here.
and you tell me what you think of it. Now, this was the easiest thing ever and cheapest too. So if you like what you see, don't be afraid to share the video and give us your comments. We always like to hear what you're thinking about the products that we produce. Thank you so much and come back.